Toko the Samurai Girl. Let's get into it. She's going to be probably your easiest S plus hero to get alongside Thinker, Cyber, Anna. Those guys, you see them everywhere. There's always free ones every month that give you, they basically, the game gives you, gives it to you for free. So she's probably the best one to focus on. She'll get you through the game probably the fastest. Um, what am I going to do in this video? I'll talk about her stats, skills, talents, stigmatas, exclusive items, uh, artifacts, go with like Mystic, Mystic Realm, uh, go on to bosses, time travel, arena, team comps, counters, all that kind of stuff. So let's get into her stats. With uh, Toko, you probably want to get about 60% crit. Mainly because if you look at her skills, um, <clears throat> what is it? After she uses her main ability, she's going to get an extra 70% crit, or not 70%, 70% 70 crit damage and 40% crit. So if you have 60% after she does her ultimate skill, you're going to end up with 100% crit. Um, also, before that, if you get her awakened skill, she's going to have an extra 20% crit. So I'd say 60% is the number to aim for. Her first round of auto attacks is going to have an 80% crit, and then after she ults, um, it's going to be over 100%. So her main skill, uh, Sakura Slash, that's going to be some big damage. Um, what do we got? Attack. So basically just hits four targets and then makes them bleed afterwards. Um, after she does that, she's going to get an extra 70% crit damage and 40% crit and then she also does extra damage to targets that are bleeding uh, what else does she do every time she does an auto attack she has a chance to attack again which is really strong that's how you see her basically slapping and slapping all day long if you get a really lucky you can get 20 in a row and then it just keeps going and if you get um, ideally you want to get the samurai stigmatas they're really good um, recommend those at level four it's a 25 percent chance to attack again so she starts hitting there's a 25 percent chance she's going to attack again and then then she might do another 20 auto attacks after that so pretty strong there her pursuit auto attacks don't trigger this it's only the first auto attack that does it so if you get level six stigmatas that's really strong as well 40 percent chance to do an extra attack which is that's, that's where, you, where her damage comes from. The game recommends to use the Apocalypse, which is good if for her ultimate ability. You might be, get lucky and snipe a backline target, but I would suggest sticking with Samurai. Just, you want more auto attacks, that's going to give you the best chance. You could also run... I've seen some people run Vital Stigmatas on her, but I wouldn't recommend it. Same thing as they're pretty much similar to Apocalypse, just will do extra damage to the back line. Um, also the front line if they're squishy, but definitely stick with the uh, Samurai. Uh, what else we got? Her exclusive item, extra, once you max that out, that's extra 48% HP and 48% attack and extra accuracy. So, <clears throat> accuracy is good on her. She's going to have less chance to get dodged or get blocked. Uh, when it's at level 30, also reduces their damage reduction. So, if they've got damage, immune ability skills or items, that's going to cut through that. So, that's always going to be handy. You want to cut through the tanks. That, that's who she is. She's a tank killer. Single target boss killer. What else we got? Artifacts next. The best one is obviously the Scythe of Hunt. That's going to give her her attack, crit, and crit damage. So you want to aim for about 60% crit, then the rest in attack or crit damage. Um, if you got this item, crit damage is pretty good. Um, the next best item is going to be Fatal Judgment. Every time she attacks, she's going to increase her attack. So this one also has accuracy as well and attack. So that's really strong. If you don't have that one, which you probably should, I think everyone does, uh, use Eden Space. That's going to 
mega auto attacks, basic attacks increase by 10% for two, yeah, so basic attacks increase there, and also attack and crit, which is what you want. So those are the ones to go by. The only time I will switch these, switch them out would be if I am doing the Mystic Realm. I'll switch them to Divine Prayer, which is this one here, very strong at level 30. So when she's under 50% health, she'll recover 50%. And when she's at under 30%, she'll recover 100%. So what's Mystic Realm, you might ask? That is in Union, Mystic Realm Challenge. That's this one here. She's really strong in this one, just these are obviously single target battles, or one or two single target battles, so she's really strong in that, so you want to survive as long as possible, so every every new wave, the artifact resets, so that Divine Prayer can continuously heal her every, every wave for nine waves. So you can do that. Also, sometimes I'll also run Vital on her for the extra heal just to survive longer. Quite handy on her. Um, that's the only time I'd run Vital or any or Divine Prayer on Toko. What else we got? Bosses. She is the king of boss battles. So especially this one here, the tree single target battle. Um, she does huge damage. Um, what else we got? All these battles here, like I just finished Firewoman, and if you look at how much damage she does, if that loads up, video expired maybe, open that up, yeah, you see 500 million damage, and compared to the rest of the team, Rex did 47, so that's strong, any single target ba battle she's gonna be king at, what's next? Lost Land, same thing. She's just going to be good. Um, X Wars, she helped me pass X Wars. Probably She's probably the biggest help I've had in X Wars. Simply because you just keep battling it. If you lose, try again. Eventually she's going to string a 20 string auto attack and kill the whole team in, in one round. So if you're struggling, level her up. She's going to be pretty good. What next? Um, arena. She's good in arena. She does have counters, but let's go over like some team comps you'd want to run, run, run with her. You've got, you could run, uh, who is it? Camp. He's good. He gives your team extra attack and speed. And I believe he reduces the team's armor as well. Um, the enemy's team armor, so that's pretty good to buff her up. Basically, she's a one girl army, she's gonna win the game for you, but you just want a team to support her. So, if you got camp, he's pretty average, but he's gonna help help her out. You've got someone like Lucy, if you don't have 60% crit, she's gonna give you an extra, I think, 20 or 30% crit. I can't remember her, her abilities, but. She gives your team extra attack, and she'll also give Toko crit. So that's going to help buff her up if she, you need more damage. So that's pretty handy there. Then you've got Thinker. Thinker gives you the <clears throat> extra shield, extra armor for the team, and links, I believe it's about 40% damage that Toko takes to Thinker. So basically, the your hero with the highest attack is going to link to each other. So if Toko starts taking hits... Thinker is going to take a bit of damage for her, which is good because you want to protect her, obviously. Um, who else have you got? You've got Houston. He's going to lower the defenses of the enemy team. So Armor Pen, he also increases the attack of your team. So that's going to help her help her out. Who else you've got? I like to run Combat because he gives you extra attack, extra armor, and he also does armor like basic armor pen armor reduction for the enemy team. So he's he's pretty good. He doesn't do much healing, but if the, your team's tanky enough, you don't need the heals. Um, so that's good for that. Also, I probably missed the actual talents for her, didn't I? Um, the talents, usually you want to run precise 
strike, which is the first one, damage to warriors. That's because her first attack is always going to be hitting a warrior. Um, unless you want to run super shield for the mystic realm, the one where she battles by herself versus nine rounds of enemies, which is annoying, but that can be good because that reset to every, every wave. This one's good. Um, she does extra damage when they're below 50% health. Pretty much always run that one. This one you could either run over protection if you have a healer like Afra or some other one that you notice that she's always getting overhealed. So that's pretty good there. Otherwise I run Ghost Ghost Curse, which basically just does extra damage. And the main one here, once this is why you want to get her to a mortal. Rush rush offense. So this has a 20% chance to trigger after she attacks, which means she'll attack in the first round and 20% chance to use the ultimate ability. So that's where where she's going to be doing her damage. So string of all attacks, hopefully 20 if you're lucky, maybe again with Samurai, and then she'll use her ultimate ability, and then the round two she'll start doing another string of auto attacks, which after she's done her ultimate, she's going to have the extra crit and crit damage and then do extra damage to bleeding targets. So round two is where she really, really does damage. Um, so we've gone through arena. So that's like basic um, teams that you want to run with her. Um, I'm going to run him. Um, I would like to make... The new girl paladin into my team somehow once i get her a bit stronger hopefully but she seems pretty strong she is kind of like kind of like a she's a good tank but i'm not sure how she's going to do if how tanky she's going to be but she kind of takes out an enemy out of battle so like it looks like this battle she's going to take out indira so she can't use her ultimate ability which is going to be pretty handy i mean unless she dies really fast but um yeah, still, I run Rex, it doesn't really, just whoever you got as your main tank, either Rex or Blaze or whoever you're running, the general, uh, who else is good, um, yeah, this guy's a pretty good tank with her, if you're running the Superman, um, what else, who else is there, yeah, you can even run Einstein as well with her, the extra res could come in handy if you notice she dies too fast, but um, I like Rex. Rex with Thinker and Combat type and also Cyber for the extra damage. It's good. It's a pretty good lineup. Well, we'll see if we can watch this. Oh. Can we watch the battle? Oh, yeah, here we go. So uh, let's watch this battle. Um, counters to Toko is going to be Divine Prayer. So if their first slot has Divine Prayer, it's going to be a pain to cut through that. Once the enemy is through 50% health, they're going to heal again. And then once they're under 30% health, they're going to kill back to full. So you basically have to kill them two, three times. It's a pain, but it's a pretty good counter. Or the other counter is if they run... Uh, Devil's Pupil, which rebounds once it's maxed out 70%, what is it, 70, or 80% damage back to her, so she's pretty much just going to be killing herself, 80% of the damage she does is going to rebound back to her, so if the enemy has that, that's kind of a pain to deal with, but if you got Toko, it kind of links up the damage, so it's not the end of the world. Other counters are characters like if they put Blaze in there, um, slot 1 with the counter attack sometimes Blaze will counter attack and stun Toko so any kind of stun or CC is always going to be a pain so even if they're running someone like Silas if Silas gets his silence off onto Toko and she can't use her main skill it cuts her damage down quite a bit obviously she can still Toka can still auto attack, which is strong, but the auto attacks will be reduced and she won't get an ult with extra stats. So that's really annoying to play against. 
other counters are like Anna's Charm, Medusa's Petrify. Um, what else is there? Any kind of like backline damage is going to be annoying as well. So someone like Laura is going to be a pain to deal with. Just when she ults, it's going to hurt your Toko. Even in the first run, Laura has a chance to hit her with her passive ability. So sometimes if they have a really strong Laura, Toko just gets wiped out. Uh, there's characters like uh, Indira, lots of AoE damage. So any AoE damage can just randomly kill her. So running a team with like full offense on her isn't really recommended. She does enough damage as is, you just want to keep her alive. So, yeah, we'll see. This one here, this battle. It gets a bit laggy, this game, when I start doing battles. Sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not. So, I think it just gets a bit hot sometimes. Yeah, these, these teams are a bit too weak for me. But... You get the idea, she does a lot of damage. Um, what else was there? I think that's that's about it. Uh, anything else I missed? That's um Yeah, basically overall strong hero, she gets you past um the X Wars and the boss battles is the main reason you, you wanna you can get past there, that's really strong. Um she works with most teams. The other Thing you want to do with team comps maybe is just getting the extra extra buff here so have three of the same faction on your team so like I've got three um, tech heroes if you run a fourth one you're gonna get the extra extra percent of attack if you run five then you're gonna get 20% attack 20% HP so that's always handy. Um, so if you want to try work around that, that gives her extra stats as well. But it's not the end of the world. You just want to keep her alive, basically. What else is there? Um, that's pretty much it for her. Good luck getting her. If you already have her, good luck winning, I guess. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, next video, I'll probably make one on Rex. Um, maybe I'll make one on Cyber, I like him a lot, maybe Pirate, if people like him, Thinker for sure, Anna, maybe, maybe we'll make a video on Anna, um, Blaze, even, Blaze, he's a pretty easy champion to get, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one.